Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. It is Thursday, it's a Friday for you guys. I love of Fridays. Anyway, happy Friday and I have a secret. Shh. I feel like I just woke up from the world's worst nightmare and I know exactly what to do. I've not shared a lot of this stuff with you because it's never really been a good time. But some of you guys know that my youngest son, I have three older sons, two of them married, grown up, strong married men. One of them has a family and my youngest son, Nick, who's 20, still lives at home. Anyway, I love that he lives at home. He's amazing. He has a girlfriend and they spend a lot of time together and they spend a lot of time here and I love that. What I don't love is the mess of his room. So I'm gonna show you guys the mess of his room, but first, don't judge because literally he's a 20 year old man. Maybe not all 20 year old men are as messy as him, but the dude is messy. So here's his room. Oh, and never ever tell him that I showed you guys his room because he does not watch the videos or watch our vlog, so I think I'm safe. This is it. Doesn't even have a sheet on his bed. Towels, clothes, food, everywhere. How much pop does one 20 year old guy need? All right, so that's about the, the extent of his room. And it's not horrible, but there's food in here and garbage. Did you guys see the garbage? It's a mess. I've tried everything. I've tried grounding. How do you ground a 20 year old man that has to go to work every day, that has a girlfriend that, it, yeah, no, that didn't work. I tried tricking. I tried appealing to his sense of love and, and I tried guilting him. I tried so many things to get him to keep his room clean. And I don't care that his room is messy. I just care that he has food in his room. I do not want food in his room because he gets stinky, especially in the summer. I just want it gone. So another issue is that he always leaves all of his dirty clothes all over his floor and then one day they go downstairs to do laundry and I find baskets of laundry in front of the laundry machine. So I continue about my day doing my laundry and for weeks all of his clothes will be on the, on the basement floor and a huge mess. And I say, Nick, you need to clean up your stuff. And he's like, yeah, 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 yeah. Never happens. Well, last morning, I don't know what happened, but I woke up and I was like, oh, I know exactly what to do. And this is what I decided to do. Basically, what I decided to do was wash all the dirty clothes and dry them that were in front of my machine so that my laundry room wouldn't be a mess. I washed it all, I folded it all, it's all perfect and hidden away in Sophia's room. That's just the first of it. And here's some shirts hanging up here. So it's all hidden away. And basically, uh, I'm just gonna be chill. I'm just gonna be like, okay, well, you know, this laundry's done, my my room is clean. And when he comes to me and says, hey, do you know where I, I put that shirt? Or I'm out of underwear, I can't find them anywhere. I'm gonna say, oh yes, I have them. So for $5, you can buy them from me or you can clean your room. And then when it's all done, I'll give them to you. What do you guys think? Was that like total genius or what? Then I am going to save all the five dollars that he pays me for doing his laundry and eventually one day someday maybe in the near future he will be able to get an apartment with all that money let me know in the comments below if you think that's a good idea if you think it's gonna work or if you have a better solution good morning guys okay what do you think of your brother's messy room it's probably all clean it's not clean i'm just asking you what do you think i should do about it um <coughs> Told me. Okay, but what should I do? Do you think that if, when you become a teenager and you mess up your room that I should charge you five dollars to, to give you back your laundry? No. Do you think I should say you're not getting your laundry until you clean up your room? No. What do you think I should do? Clean up my room for me. <laughs> Hire a maid! Hire a maid! Hire a maid! <laughs> no. I want to know in the comments below, what, are you, what happens to you if your house gets so messy or you don't clean up after yourself or if you are old enough to do laundry and you don't do it and you leave it all over the laundry room floor, what happens? What are the consequences and what works for your family? And if you're a parent, I want to know, honestly, what do you do? So the girls and I were down at the library and we have an appointment really soon after the library to go to a horse barn to look at some lease horses. And Sam came to pick us up and look what he has. He has hot dogs, a barbecue in the back of the car. Thank you, did you bring cheese? No. 
But look, there's relish and ketchup and water, ketchup. mustard. So if he's yeah. having a hot dog. So yeah, we have never done this before. I'm not sure if I even like this, but supper. I didn't have to cook anything. It's crazy. Sam is so well thought out. Either that or he was just starving. The girls got little boxes. The girls got little boxes so that they can make their barn video. So Gabby can do a barn video tomorrow. Every time I'm not specific, people get confused. So the reason I said that we couldn't go to the barn four times a week was because that other barn that we went to look at for leasing a horse was was an hour away. It was an hour away from where we live, so going there four times a week would be really hard. This other barn, we're hoping is a little bit closer. But we are headed to the barn. I'm gonna eat my hot dog, and we are headed to a barn, and we have to hurry because it's our appointment. I, we don't know how far, far away it is. We're hoping it's about 30 minutes away, a little closer than the last barn. look at these horses over here look at that's where you go to the trail isn't it nice so what kind of horses are these Pasifino Pasifinas these horses are are they Pasifinas that's all she has here so she said don't touch that fence so look at how beautiful oh there's a fall Oh my Sometimes goodness. No. It may be. Oh, that is. Oh, I saw its tail moving. He's like, it's just too hot. It's scorching hot today. That's probably his mom. And he's just laying there thinking, I don't want to get up. Oh, here comes. Here comes mama. Maybe that's not the mama. Is that the. Don't touch it. Hello. Lots of kids at this barn. Look, my favorite horse is coming in. Is that your favorite one? How do you know? We haven't even seen all the farm yet. Well, I just made my favorite one. The fool's my favorite, actually. I love the little fool. All right, well, let's go look at all the trees. Let's all the... look at the barn. All right, let's go to the around the corner at the barn here. So that's the barn. From all the dust. So pretty. Cassette. Oh, he's sweaty. Neither have I. I've waited twice. My goodness. Her name is Pepper. Pepper the pig. Oh, she likes you, Sophie. That's a nice little. That's her pool when it's hot. Oh, she goes right in it? Yep. Oh, that's so funny. And she also drinks from the I want to see the pig go in it. Go in it, Pebble. Oh, look, she's got paint all over her or something. Maybe she was painted for camp. Super cute. All right, you want to go in the barn? Mm-hmm. Shelby, what are you thinking about leasing a horse here? Oh, they have all there. That's neat. So somebody told us that they made signs like this. That's super cool. I saw a cat down there. That's the stallion. Oh, I think this is my favorite guy. It's a boy. It's a stallion. You wouldn't be riding him. Yeah, come back. So that's a boy. He's not a gelding. He's not... Oh, he's tied up there. What day do you guys ride? Saturdays? Uh, no, we ride Thursday. Oh, she's pretty. 
What's her name? That's piano. Pia. No, it's rumor. Oh, that's rumor. Hey, rumor. I love that you guys are giving us a tour. Oh, girl, get back, get back. Hi, Pia. Oh, okay. There's the white one. Gabby rides a big, huge white horse right now. Pictures the far one that I. Okay, so that's who you leave, and then the other big white one? Yeah, that's the one Haley leaves. Okay. And then that's Trina. Okay, there's the chickens. That's a cute little ch chicken room. Adorable. It's so hot out today, we're gonna get some ice cream. Let's get some ice cream. I'll show you what kind, because we only like some kind. Caramel surprise is what we're getting. Hot chocolate, not vanilla. Get the normal stuff, come on. Not chocolate caramel surprise. Yeah, that's what we get. It's either chocolate caramel or pralines and cream. Chocolate caramel or what? Pralines and cream. Pralines or chocolate. Or maple walnut. I don't want, I don't like maple walnut. Do you like? I just checked on Nick's room. He promised me it was gonna be clean today and it's not, so. My thing did not work yet, but he has not needed any clothes. The minute he needs clothes, I bet you this room gets cleaned. Before we end today's video, Gabby and I want to say that we loved that new barn. Did we? Yeah. She was kind of iffy about it. It's hard to start a new barn. Isn't it hard to start a new barn? Not at our barn. It's hard to start a new barn because there's all these little girls there and none of them know you and then you're always like the lad, the new girl and you, yeah, it's just hard. But Not anyway. At our place. Not at our place though. Anyway, so we are kind of excited about it. We're still working out the details. Basically, if we go there, the girls are gonna get to ride um, each week and then they're gonna join a club, like a pony club kind of thing. And they're gonna go there once a week together with a bunch of other little girls. They're gonna get to do like learn horsemanship and all sorts of different things. There's an obstacle course for them to do. There's trails Hopefully for miles. Yeah. Us. Yeah, they're gonna get to do that. So anyway, I think that we're gonna do this. It's not actually a lease though. Anyway, I think we're gonna do it. We talked about it, everybody that, so we talked about it with that lady and basically she said we should start in September because she has camp all summer and it's just a crazy time. The girls are gonna get to ride on trails with other girls and muck out stalls and take care of their whore. So, and that's what we want for them. So I think we're gonna do that. Um, I'd like to know in the comments below, what do you guys think of those horses? What kind of horses are they? Pasifinos. Pasifino horses? I don't know, that sounds odd. Pasifino. Anyways, yeah, so they're a little bit smaller and they have a different kind of a gait and it's something new for the girls to learn about. But I think we're gonna do it and yeah, I wanna know in the comments below what you guys think about the farm, about those kind of horses and if you think it's a good idea. Okay, so comment of the day goes to Cleo Booth. She says, gosh, wow, Gabby's really getting into the good stuff in her lessons. Both of your girls are going to be super good riders when they grow up. I own a Tennessee Walker gelding named Onyx. Two cats and two dogs. Onyx or Onyx? Onyx. Yeah, it's so Onyx. Onyx. Yeah, you're probably right. <laughs> um, I come on your channel every day like I really mean it to see if you've uploaded the next vlog. Gabby and Sophie are stunning riders and they're doing an excellent job. I used to ride Western, but after seeing my first rodeo, I saw how cruel the riders hurt the horses and animals that competed. I don't suggest taking the girls to a rodeo. There's a lot of inappropriate things and the animal cruelty is horrendous. I support your channel and your daughter's riding. I now ride English, but I suck. Well, I don't like saying that since I'm on my first lesson. I'm gonna get better. You are gonna get better. Please respond to the comments so I know you read it. It would be, it would make me so super happy to get shouted out, but I just wanted to tell you that your daughters are doing great in their horse riding. From Cleo and Onyx said nay. So I really like that comment because we want to go to a rodeo. Do you want to go to a rodeo? Not now, not now we don't want to go to no, a rodeo, but as soon as I read that comment, I was like, you know what, I believe that. That, I, yep, I'm so glad somebody told me that because we were planning to go to a rodeo and I think maybe we won't go now. What do you think? Or maybe we should go because it's a good learning experience about what, no, I, you don't want to see that kind of stuff, right? No. I... Anyway, that is it for today. So, 
uh, like and subscribe if you like this video and click the i card right here in this corner for more videos and you'll get a mystery video tell us what video you like the best of ours bye see you later guys and don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below